I made this awesome app design using Adobe XD. Let me show you how I did it. I think this is the right choice to be famous. Sometimes I like to design things on my own and I already know how to use Adobe's design tools like Photoshop and Illustrator but I don't have any experience with Adobe XD. But that was the past. Now I know how to use Adobe XD and I made this awesome app design using Adobe XD. No I didn't make this design to show you guys my design skill. I made this because in the upcoming videos we are going to use this design to create our project. Yes, we are going to convert this design into real app using React Native and also we are going to write some backend code using like as I already told you guys in the previous video, we are going to use Monstack. We are going to write our backend using Node.js, MongoDB, Express and things like that. So if you guys don't want to miss those videos, then make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss any upcoming videos. Also press that bell icon, okay? Like as I already told you guys, I don't know that much about the XD, but here we are going to make something awesome, okay? First, from this panel, we can choose our device size, like for this web, phone, Instagram story, and the custom size. From here, I'm going to choose the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro, okay? Let's click on this. Here we have this layout. Now, inside this layout, first, I'm going to choose this rectangle tool, and I'm going to drag the shape. First, let's deselect this. Let's select this rectangle tool again. And I'm going to drag it like this because I want the exact size. Now, from here, we can choose the border color. Also, we can choose the fill color. But here, I'm going to disable the border color. And let's change the fill color to F8F7FC. This looks perfectly fine. Now, here inside the shape, I'm going to draw this input this should be fine let's change this height to 45 okay looks fine now i'm going to change the color of this fill for that you can use this color picker tool looks completely fine also let's change the border colors for this border color i'm going to use this 8484 at 7 looks fine and let's change the width of this border. I'm going to use this 2 pixel. And from here we can change its radius like this. But I'm going to change it to 10 pixel. Looks fine. Now here from this panel we can use this text tool. And here I'm going to type this email. Let's drag it size a bit down. 16 pixels should be fine. Let's make this text bolder and let's drag it all the way here. And from here, I'm going to move it up like 10 pixels. For that, you can press the shift and up down arrow. Let's bring it down 5 pixels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 5 pixel looks good. Now, I want to add some placeholder text inside this input. For that, we can select this text. Press Alt key and drag it like this. We can double click on this text and let's change this to exampple example at the rate email.com. Now let's select outside and from here let's move this right one 10 pixel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15 pixel. Okay. Now let's change its font weight to regular. And also, I'm going to change its color to 1B1B33. Okay, now let's bring its opacity down to 40%. Looks completely fine. Now let's select this text and the shape. And from here, we can align this vertically in the middle like this. And it looks completely fine. Now let's select everything from here except the shape for that we can press the shift key and left click. Now we are selecting only this text and the shape. Now let's group this. Now let's make a copy of this entire thing for that we can select this, press alt and let's drag it like this. And let's bring it down to 15 pixel or oh, let's see 20. 30 pixel okay looks fine now let's change this email to password 
and I'm going to change this placeholder text as well. Let's use this star 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Looks completely fine. Now I'm going to ungroup this for now and let's select the shape, press Alt and let's drag it down like this 47 okay 40 pixels should be fine now i want to make this login button for that here i'm going to use this text tool let's type this log not logo log in let's use the selection tool and i'm going to drag it all the way here let's select this text and the shape from here we can align it vertically in the middle and let's make it horizontally center as well like this now let's change the opacity to 100% and let's use this white color let's make this font bolder and bigger 20 pixels would be fine again let's make it center okay looks fine now i'm going to change the color of the safe for that here let's disable this border color let's change this fill to 1b1b double 3 okay looks fine now let's select entire thing except the main shape and let's group them all and let's bring it down like this let's select entire thing and let's make it center like this now again i'm going to use this rectangle tool let's make this shape like this let's change its height to 45 okay looks fine now what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the shape how we can copy this let's copy this and let's paste it like this here we have the shape i'm going to make this shape half of the original shape and again i'm going to do the same thing for this bigger shape as well like this okay now here we have two shapes and i'm going to disable the border color from here now let's use this text tool and type log in and let's change the color of the shape and i'm going to use the same color let's use this color picker tool like this and here let's drag this log in right here and let's make it center like this and i want to choose the same color for this shape as well let's use this color picker and let's use the same color here as well let's copy and paste it like this and i'm going to change this login to sign up and let's align them properly like this also i want to decrease their size as well but before that i'm going to make it center like this and let's decrease its size to 16 pixel okay now i want to make these fonts regular okay looks fine now let's align them again like this like this okay now here we are going to choose different color for active tab for that here i'm going to change the color of the sign up to let's decrease its opacity to something like this let's make it 40 okay okay look it's fine now this looks fine but here let's make their corner rounder for that here we can click on this and from here we can control the top left corner top right bottom right and bottom left here i'm going to change the top right to 10 pixel and bottom right to 10 as well like this and we're going to do same thing for this as well but here we are going to change the top left to 10 and bottom left to 10 like this and this looks perfectly fine now you can see here i'm using different color for this login and the sign up and that is because here i want to use different color for the active tab and inactive tab okay now let's ungroup this and group this login and sign up and the shape like this and here we are not grouping this so let's group this first also let's group this button like this okay now i'm going to align this header like this 40 pixel and I'm going to group them like this. 
now we have this entire thing grouped okay now let's bring it down like this and here i'm going to add some header as well like this welcome let's change the color of this text and i'm going to change it to something like this okay let's make it a bolder from here and let's increase the size to 30 pixel okay let's copy and paste it or duplicate it like this and here i'm going to type this youtube task manager now let's drag this text to the center for that we can select both of them drag it like this okay now i'm going to change the weight and the size of this text 20 and i'm going to make it regular let's bring it down 18 okay let's move it up select both of them and first let's group them okay let's make it center first let's ungroup this and now if i do it like this okay and now i think this looks fine okay let's select entire thing and let's group it like this let's make it center and i think this looks perfectly fine or let's move it up like this now this looks fine for now i'm going to again ungroup this because i am going to change the color of this login ungroup this again let's bring its opacity down to 40 pixel now like as i already told you i want to change the color of the active and inactive buttons okay so for that here we are going to first disable this login button if there is no input inside these input fields okay simple now let's select entire thing press alt and drag it like this now here we are going to create sign up for that first let's ungroup this let's bring its opacity up to the 100 and let's bring the opacity down of this login to 40 percent like this first we are going to ask for the name full name like this and let's change this placeholder as well like this let's change this password to email example at the email.com this looks fine but here i'm going to change this login to next okay because we will have the next screen as well but here what we're going to do we're going to change this welcome to welcome back if this is login then we want to change this to welcome back otherwise we're going to welcome our user for the first time okay now after this this color will be the same because this is currently disabled because of the empty text input okay now let's copy in that thing press all drag it like this and i'm going to change this full name to password like this change this to one two three four five six seven eight star let's copy this password and here we are going to change this email to confirm password like this change this placeholder to one two three four five six seven eight like this now here we are going to change this text to sign up sign up like this let's make this text center okay this is center now let's do the same thing for this next as well and i think we need to do same thing for this login as well okay this looks fine now now at the end i'm again going to copy and paste this entire thing like this but from here we are going to delete entire thing except the sign up text and the main shape like this let's change the color of this 
text to something like this for now and here I'm going to change the text from sign up to skip and why we're doing this because here we're going to ask user for the profile picture like this let's change the fill color for that we can use this color picker okay now I'm going to decrease the size of the border to 2 pixel and I want the border or dashed border okay for that here I'm going to choose this 2 or let's increase it to 4 and this looks fine now here we are going to copy and paste this text let's change this to upload profile image let's bring this image to the town or next line let's center it like this I want to make it regular and let's change the color of this text to something like this and let's bring its opacity down to 40 okay and again I'm going to change the color of this text to something like this let's bring it here and now we need to move it off for that we can press this control shift and this curly press like this simple now let's select both of this save and text let's center it like this now I'm going to group them and let's center it with the shape as well like this now let's bring this skip text right here and let's try to change the font weight of this skip to regular looks fine let's increase its size to 22 and I'm going to caps everything no it looks not that good this is fine let's select both of them group them and here I'm going to align them like this and I think this looks fine at first here we have this login screen and after that we have the sign up screen and here we are going to take the full name email and then we are going to move to the next screen where we are going to finally sign up our user and after that here we will have this screen where user can upload their profile image or they can skip this screen okay now to all of this let's copy the shape again like this here I'm going to use this rectangle tool and draw another shape on top of the shape like this and this will be our draw navigation okay for now I'm going to disable this border like this and let's try to make some hamburger we can choose this by using this control plus okay for now let's leave it like this okay now here what I'm going to do I'm going to draw the shape like this and now here I have this image I can drag and drop it like this now we can double click here and we can bring this image down like this let's disable the border color and we can resize it like this one two okay and again I'm going to use this text tool and here I'm going to use this name Rita oh. okay now let's change font weight to bold and let's decrease its font size to 16 let's bring it here 1 2 now let's duplicate this name and I'm going to change this to example at the rate email dot com let's change the font weight to regular let's bring the size down to 12 pixel and let's group them 
and it's align it vertically and I think this looks fine okay now let's make some menu item as well task list let's copy it like this and let's make another one trash let's take it all the way here and do something for this as well and let's make this size bigger something like this 20 pixels would be fine and let's make them bolder and again I'm going to duplicate this again and let's change this to log out and let's try to add some background color as well here Control Z okay let's disable the border color let's move it back for now let's change this color to something like this let's copy and paste this and I'm going to make it half of the width of the original one like this let's delete the background this looks fine now let's move them back okay now we can center the text and the shape like this okay now let's make it bigger and let's delete the small one and I'm going to copy the shape and take it here as well. Let's make it small. Let's make them center like this. And I'm going to do same thing for this logout as well. and guys this is our final design okay this is how we are going to design our app this is the login screen this is a sign up sign up and this is the screen to upload profile image and this is our draw navigation